Hello, this is an Astroneer tutorial about the delay repeater. This is the delay repeater. It costs a thousand bytes to unlock and takes one zinc to print. The delay repeater is like the button repeater and all the sensors in that it has a segment pin on top which you can attach to various objects to to toggle on and off their various property properties. The difference between the delay repeater and the button repeater is that the delay repeater delays by a certain amount of ticks um, before it gives an output. So you can see here, you can select from one to 25 ticks. Now I say ticks and not seconds or any unit of time because it is based on the pulses from various activation activities and not any amount of time. Uh, this is become, because when you get more complicated logic circuits or if you're activating many things over and over repeatedly uh, or if, if you just even have a lot of lighting updates, your game is going to struggle to keep track of everything that's happening and it's going to take longer in seconds to complete some actions but the same number of ticks so what that is 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 you know the delay repeater will activate something that changes a, uh, switches off a power switch which activates a, a, a power sensor uh, on and on and on and on and the delay repeater uh, is set up so that it can be used to coordinate uh, complicated logic circuits that depending on the speed of your computer may happen in a variable amount of time. Now that being said this is on Xbox and I did some testing and it seems like five ticks is about where things start slowing down with this. So if I say set this up in a circuit where it's constantly pulsing over and over and I have it below five it's going to uh, be slower than if I have it uh, uh, past five. So um, in terms of if your game is running at normal speed, um, about seven, a little over seven ticks is equivalent to a second. But if I'm say running this at one tick, seven ticks is closer to one and a half seconds just because the game, because this is an Xbox and it's not necessarily as powerful as a, com uh, a very powerful computer, um, it's, it takes nearly one and a half seconds to run those uh, seven ticks, uh, just because it's trying to do stuff very fast. Um, now that the complicated bit uh, is over with, I'm just gonna show off uh, some of the properties. So here we have a uh, um, button repeater going into a delay timer. We hit it and it goes around and then gives you the output. One of the, the things you got to be aware of if if I pulse this multiple times, so I've inputted three pulses and you could see that it reset it, but it's still triggering it three times. So you can you can input multiple pulses into a delay repeater and it will delay all the pulses. It will not reset the counter. It will not increase the counter. It, it, it treats them all separately even though it can only display one, uh, one, one delay at a time. So you can only get the one circle. And if I do this, oh, right, I'm do this again. So you only get the one circle going around but it's gonna trigger and then that, that one's gonna trigger. Um, the delay repeater does not stick to objects, but it can be put in tier one slots. And to that effect, so we have over here, if you do not use the segment pin and you, um, you do not take it out of the actual delay repeater, you can slot a T1 object onto the top of the delay repeater and it will trigger that object uh, when, when it gives you an output. Um, this is true when it's on a platform as well. And if you toggle, trigger the platform, it will trigger the delay repeater as well. And 
Uh, if you're on a platform with power and what you slot into the top of the delay repeater requires power, it will transfer power through the delay repeater, but only if it's on a platform. So if you see here, we're gonna go like this. The, there goes the um, fireworks and the light turns on. Um, so that's it for the properties of the delay repeater. Um, some of the common uses are for in timers. So this is uh, just a small timer where it's going to uh, have a button repeater feeding into a delay repeater and we've got an output and the delay repeater goes back into the button repeater. Um, so this gives you a constant output at whatever the delay of the delay repeater is. Um, and you can break that and then it'll keep going. Um, this can be used uh, very nicely in a lot of logic circuits. So if you get uh, very big logic circuits um, and you need ha things to happen uh, uh, slower or faster uh, than they uh, would normally, you can put in a delay repeater to ensure that say if you're doing a adding, you, you trigger uh, adding your ones digits before your uh, tenths place digits, um, stuff like that. So uh, it's useful in uh, logic circuits to ensure that things happen in the order that you want to have them, want them to happen in. Um, another use for them is for display purposes. So this is just a quick kind of uh, um, uh, landing pad kind of lighting situation that just kind of flips back and forth. And you can also, you know, trigger uh, um, patterns to toggle back and forth with it as well. Um, yeah, there's probably some other common uses, but um, that's what I've got so far after a day of messing with them. Um, so that is the delay repeater. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and thank you for watching.